Well, it's part two of the old brake job on the 57 Chevy. So, I did a little bit of screwing around. I mounted this uh, metering block just kind of about where it should be with a couple lines. So, that's, that's pretty good. I did hook up the brake pedal, the little rod there. Uh, it was a nightmare trying to get in there, so I didn't do any filming of it. Uh, and it was a shit show. Because I had to cut part of it off to put the fit and all sorts of stuff. It was too long with the kit it came with and then too short if you took off the extension. So again, I was a little disappointed. But that's life. So that's that. Uh, I have this line lock. And like a bonehead, I didn't order any fittings uh, for all this stuff. And a local parts store didn't have any. And it's Saturday afternoon and I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'll be at some other point, unfortunately. So... I guess it's time to start kind of screwing this thing together. So I'm going to bleed the master and then I got to start running a bunch of brake lines, take all the old stuff out. Actually in the truck, I'll go grab that and I'll show you what I picked up today because I got just a few little, uh, you know, hold down clamps I like to use. And we'll start flaring this thing and putting her all together. Excited. Uh, well, here's stuff I end up getting. These little insulated P-clamps. Did you go to Princess Auto without me? Yeah, you were still in bed actually today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was. Got up, I went to work for a few hours, went to Princess Auto, came home and she was still in bed. And I also got these. These are just smaller ones. So you run the line through there. I'm just gonna pepper it with self tappers because that's what's easy wherever I can get in there. So it's a bit of a pain, but cross the cross member and stuff like that. I'll start pulling the old brake lines out. Maybe get a little help from Danny. No. Oh. Well, we'll see how the day goes. So instead of trying to film this old braking system uh, in the car, which was an absolute nightmare, I'm to show it to you. So I took it all apart. So on this side, this little one's what would have gone to the uh, wheel cylinder, the drum. And it's a little T, so the back of this T, which is nothing in it, that is the 3 line that goes straight back to the uh, rear brakes. And on the other side here, so how simple this is, Another T, this little one would have gone to the drum, and this tall one goes right to the master cylinder. So a single pot, it would have gone down, and it was just basically one long line to the back, and everything was teed off. So as you put pressure on, just everything was equal the whole way across, which is a bit of a pain for doing uh, burnouts, because the front brakes have just as much as the rear, so we kind of want to push through the brakes all the time. Hopefully with the disc, I won't have as much issue. Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to rip the rear brake line out real quick. I might be able to get on there and show you, but uh, I think it's a factory one. Just goes across and then into a line, and then I'll start again with new stuff. Hook it all back up. So the back part is out, the back line. So real simple. I just kind of threaded it in up there. I actually cut it in half because this is where it went through the body mount, and uh, it was easy to just chop it. And I just ran to the back. So, this is where I ended up with my dilemma. This is the original hose, which looks brand new. I must have replaced it. So anyways, the end on it is for the 3 16 tube. And then it just has a T on it that goes to the 3 16 to each rear drum. So what I got was this one. This is off of Nova, Chevelle. They're all basically the same. And you can see the opening is quarter. And then I have the same 3 16 Now this one is supposed to bolt to the diff, so I'll have to figure something out. The other one just had a little clamp on it. Uh, but yeah, the only issue with these stupid cars is the brake line runs on the passenger side. And that's where the hookup is on the diff where it, it tees. And obviously now, because on this uh, metering block, it's going to come out the back and it's going to be much easier just to go down to the driver's side and across or straight back to frame. So that's what I did in the 55. I went straight down. I self-tappered it with a few of those clamps on the frame. And then I went across. On the 55, I actually had a shock brace that I went across with with the hard line and then into the, the rubber. So I'll figure something out there. One thing I actually found was under there, the uh, main power to the fuel pump was rubbing against the muffler. So... I gotta cut a little piece of that out and fix that because that could have been a problem. But that's that. So I'll get this new stuff kind of strung out a little bit, show you how to 
do a little bit of flaring and hopefully have this thing together shortly all right got the flaring kit out it's actually my buddy mike's flaring kit which i borrowed i don't even know how long ago and uh honestly i think i've probably used it more than he has because i just kind of refuse to give it back because it's so handy but so expensive i probably should invest in it anyways so this is the line on the roll i already have the fitting on lesson learned and uh pretty simple i've done this in a few different videos so i'll go ahead and do this real quick but it's got this fancy little flaring tool you crimp it you push your thing through a couple little uh bits and uh, you got a perfect flare every time this stuff's so soft you can do it with just a regular flaring tool but uh i love this thing so my plan is to get this end flared i'll snake it up uh just kind of go snug into the master and or the uh, metering block and then go straight back and I'll flare the other side under the car, which can be a pain in the ass, so I'll figure I'll show you here. So there you go gives you a perfect flare every time uh yeah so i'll get this kind of situated in there get out of the car and get it kind of run with a few clamps get attached to that uh, rear line all right well i made a bunch of progress uh, i've got my lines uh both fronts and the one rear all kind of just loosely run uh the front was a bit of a pain this one looks a little goopy the way i ran it but with the headers and the way the motor is and the steering Trent through the cross member and up and down and then have to come forward and around so I just kind of cheated a little bit it's a pain getting the front line in with the motor in uh, for sure otherwise uh, I set it up to bleed the master so actually this kit came with this little uh, you put two little whatever I guess adapters in then it's a hose over and you just kind of pump pedal a few times get all the air out of the master itself so I've got that done uh, the next thing I'm going to do, it comes with these two little uh, connectors, so this one I guess would be there, uh, just to get the metering block to the master, so I should be able to do that, uh, I got to tighten everything up, I do have, I, on the, uh, terrible lighting here, uh, so I, you know, I ran my lines, which went into the hydraulic flex lines, which are into the caliper, again, everything is just super loose. So I'll uh, go around, get everything a torque, uh, and then hook up everything together and see what happens, see what I got for leaks. Then I'll put bleeders, let it kind of uh, gravity bleed a little bit. I'll probably grab Danny. She can sit on the pedal and pump it while we uh, get fluid out. So we're nearing the end. Uh, okay, so as you can tell by the brake fluid on the ground, I kind of gravity bled the fronts. The back didn't really come out. I got my helper out here. So she's going to pump it. Uh, and we'll bleed these brakes and see if I have any leaks. How many leaks I have, I mean, is what I really should be saying. But uh, fingers crossed, it's not that many. bleeding the brakes was an absolute nightmare the rear wheels are off i had to adjust the uh, rear drums they were way out of adjustment which was crazy but uh, i think we got it licked so i don't know this thing's all blown apart again i had to get into the back of the manifold to put in the uh power brake little nipple there but uh, i don't have any 3 8 hose to connect it to the booster 
So I think we're going to call it for tonight. We're going to do a live stream right away, trying to get set up just stuff everywhere. But yeah. Back at tomorrow, fresh mind, and uh, she'll be minty. My YouTube recommendations are wild. It goes Hot Rods, Great Danes, 57 Chevy, Puppies, Lip Sync, Comedy, LS, Engines, The Witcher. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. All right. Well, it's the next day. I'm not going to lie. I've been working on the car a little bit. Uh, I think I got the brakes working a little bit more messing around with the push rod yesterday. It was frustrating Danielle had a little freaker with the drone. It ain't flying so hot. So she was a little upset I don't know if we can even call it a little freaker. I'll fully admit like I just had a meltdown. Yeah, yeah she was a baby <laughs> but Wheels are going back on uh, I got it hooked up to the vacuum So when I fired up the pedal gets soft, so that must mean it's working I'm just gonna double check all my lines one last time Put the cover back on, put the wheels on, clean up, and see the front the front wheels seem like they're dragging just a little bit, but it's all brand new stuff, been sitting forever. I'm hoping maybe it just needs a minute, put some miles on it, and see how she goes. So that's the plan. Next time you see this thing, it'll be on the ground, and we're gonna go take it for a test drive. And then your turn to freak out. My turn to freak out, exactly. Well, front brakes just do better burnouts, so if they're locked still, it's not the end of the world. Well, this thing's always been kind of lame doing burnouts and I think it was because it was just one system so when you're putting all the, the pedal down it had the equal amount of pressure front and back brakes and this system should be a little more biased where it has more front braking I'm hoping so uh, let's Mythbusters it and see what happens <laughs> But uh, if you really wanted to go sideways there, so maybe we'll take it on the street and do a proper test. Yeah, but it held us back on through the garage uh, wall, so that's a win. Alright, well, we got it all together. Uh, the brakes were fantastic, I gotta say. Like, just laid down with hardly any, uh, any effort. I guess power brakes will do that. Uh, we did take it out and I immediately came back because the alignment was all jacked from, uh, I guess, those spacers and the brackets for the calipers. So the steering wheel's all crooked. I just kind of ran the tape measure and got it so at least uh, the track's kind of straight down the road. So I'll take it in for a quick alignment uh, at work or whatever. But yeah, it sure is pretty cool. I. Uh, other than hating the kit for a while, I've kind of passed it now, and it actually worked out pretty good. And the thing does now hold the car back way easier. Which it never used to do that before. It would always push through the push through the brakes and stuff. So now this thing's like an absolute smoke machine.